One of Multisim's very useful tools is the Logic Converter tool. The Logic Converter tool takes functions of logic and converts them into truth tables and in OR gates and Boolean algebra expressions. To select the Logic Converter tool, go over to the right hand side of the screen and browse through the tools until you can see the Logic Converter icon shown here. Once you place the Logic Converter tool on the screen, you can double click on it to open up the menu. You can select your function of how many different variables you want. So to select a truth table, you can click A, B, and C, for example, and that would give me my eight different combinations for a function of A, B, and C. Uh, to select what function you want, you can click on the question marks to the right hand side of this, either 0, 1, or X, which means it doesn't matter. And then you can have your list of conversions on the right hand side. Uh, one conversion is from gates to a truth table, one is from a truth table to a boolean expression, one is from a truth table to a simplified boolean expression, one is from a boolean expression to the truth table, and boolean expression to gating, and boolean expression to gating with only NAND gates. Um, for this example, I'm going to go from a boolean expression, or rather a truth table, to a boolean expression. So I'll click on that right there, and that gives me my Boolean expression. Now to see if it can be simplified or not, I'll click on the Simplify button, and the simplified version of the Boolean expression is A not C or A B. Now the logic converter also has other uses. So for example here I have a, a series of logic gates. Um, I just put, put them in here. Uh, I don't really know exactly what expression they indicate, but I'm going to find out using the logic converter tool. So to start off, I'm going to move them over here. Uh, you basically want to use these leads. Each lead stands for a, uh, a variable in the function. So um, my inputs all attach to the ends of my uh, function logic gates. So I'll attach A to this one, I'll attach B to this input here, I'll attach C to this input right here, and D I'll attach down to this lead down here. And now in order to find out what your gates are, you have to take the output and put it on the furthest right uh, connector on the logic converter tool. Now when you double click on it, it should... Uh, the out uh, button in the upper right hand corner of the box should be uh, checked. So now you can take your expression, your gate expression, and convert it to a table. As you can see right here, I have my four inputs, and it, it shows me just exactly what uh, the gates are doing. And I can take this function now convert it into a boolean expression which you can see down here is quite complicated or I can simplify it into its simplest form and that's that right there now once I have my simplified boolean expression I can take that and build other gates that are simpler they'll, they'll do the same thing as the gates I have on the screen right now but it will be the sim most simple uh, con combination of gates that um, is possible so if I click on it right there it takes a little bit to load and Right there are my gates, my A, B, C, and D, and that is my logic function. So the logic, fun the logic converter tool can save you an awful lot of time when designing circuits, especially uh, if you, if the alternative is uh, writing this all down on paper and uh, figuring it out for yourself.